Uh, listen here, son. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Granted, I know I'm late, all right, but I don't need y'all. I don't need y'all opinion here. Okay. Technically, it's still 2019. This is a this is this is a day that we've never experienced before. So in that sense, I'm not late. What is going on? It's your boy Shamar Mar, aka. Hashtag we got more for those that got me on social media and if you don't got me on social media You can go ahead and follow me underscore we want more on both Twitter and Instagram We want that more on snapchat today We are speaking on a topic that you guys wanted to hear the ones that you voted for speaking of which if you didn't vote Or you don't know where to vote you guys can go ahead and follow me underscore We want more on Instagram This is where I post the polls for you guys to go ahead and vote and get a shout out speaking of that shout out Shout out to miss Chambliss aka star What's good, Star? How you feeling? Shout out to you this week. Thank you for voting. I appreciate it. I really do. But back to the topic. Today, we are talking about the brand new year, 2019. We survived another one. Thank God for that. You know what I'm saying? We're on the last year of this decade, of the 2010 decade. You know, it's been one hell of a ride. You know, since 2010, I was a little kid. And now in 2019, I'm a grown man. It's, it's amazing what almost 10 years can do to you. But with that being said, all right, 2019 brings on a whole lot of new rules that we got here. Right, 2018 and below taught us the good, the bad, and the ugly. And with that, I'm pretty sure God wants us to follow these simple rules so that 2019 can be a magnificent last year of this decade. Now, it's very important that we follow these five simple rules. Yes, God gave me five simple rules for you to tell you guys. All right, there's five key rule that if we follow all of them strategically and perfectively if that's a word that's that's pretty that's a word if we follow these rules correctly i promise you 2019 is gonna be it's gonna be popping it's gonna be like skyrocketing for us now of course you're asking yourself what are these rules but you're also asking yourself yo is shamar single yes i am I am with this haircut. I am, but for real, you're asking yourself, yo, what are these five simple rules that we gotta follow so that we can make 2019 a magnificent year? I'm here for that. I'm here to tell you. The first rule, we get straight into it. The first rule, yo, I, no more on social media. Can I hear it? free, free this, free that? Yo, free my man, free my girl. Da da da. All right, I get it. You stand up for your girl. You stand up for your man. You know what I'm saying? Salute. We got, we got to stick together. We gotta be loyal to one another. I get all that, and I, I 100% agree with you. But listen here, if they if they murdering people, if they raping children, if they burning buildings down and killing 3,000 people at once. I get it. You being loyal to your means, you being loyal to your girl. You know what I'm saying? I, I get all that. But like, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. Right? God has, has already put in my head. We cannot do that here. Okay? If they've murdered people, if they raping children, why would I want them back on the street? I don't want them. I don't want them here. Go ahead. No, son. They can't. No, they're not coming out ever again. You're not about to rape a child and think because your man's is screaming free you, he gonna be free. Right? There's a difference here. When we was chanting free Meek Mill, that's because he got arrested for popping wheelies. It's not even that deep. Popping wheelies on the street. Really? You gonna put him in jail for that? That's that's stupid. But if, you know, Johnny get arrested and put in jail for, for raping a five-year-old girl, it weighs different, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you, we just can't do that, all right? So no more free this. I need to see the documentation. I need to see the background info before I chant with you, free your mans or free your girl. Like, I see what they did. Because if they out here wilding, then they should be in there and they should not be free. The second rule, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I get it. This, this has been a trend since like 2011, but it has to end now. It has 2019 is not allowing this no more. Stop sagging your pants, fellas. All right, I'm talking to the guys here, and there's some girls that do it too. Believe it or not, I've seen some women that sag their pants, and you can see their panties. I ain't wanting to complain, but you, you, you can't. All right, you just can't do that. All right, God, but for guys though, seriously, you gotta stop showing off your underwear. Nobody really cares about that. For starters, one that's kind of nasty. Like you putting your underwear out on the street for everybody to see. Who really want to see that? No girl is sitting in the back, like, oh my God, his underwear look mad cute. He probably, he probably could throw it back or something. No, what are you doing here, all right? People, you gotta understand, I'm pretty sure most fellas heard this before, but sagging pants comes from, you know, jail. It comes from prison. It's when, you know, you're, you're informing somebody else behind you that, yo, you ready to, you know, get this thing up there. I'm pretty sure you don't wanna, you don't wanna put that message out there. So please guys, go ahead and invest like five, ten dollars at H&M for some belts, all right? H&M selling for cheap and it's some good belts, all right? There's some belts for like 20 bucks. Yo, get you a, a six pack. Yo, just keep your pants at the waist level. 
cool, son. You be all right. You're going to be straight. I understand your, your underwear costs like $30, but I don't mean you got to show it off here. That's not what it's for. Third rule of 2019 that we that we must follow. Yo, listen, Instagram, Instagram, comedians and all that. I get it. Y'all out here making money. Y'all making people laugh and whatnot, even though I don't I don't really know who be laughing. But listen, unless you got a really good joke or or something is sincerely funny. Yo, just stop posting it, son. Like, I, I've watched some of y'all Instagram stories and I've listened on YouTube and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with them son y'all be y'all be making jokes about raping people and, and you know spitting on people listen listen here if, if that was real life if i got cheated on i'm not i'm not making a joke out of it are you crazy what's, what's good with you if i got spit on i'm not laughing or, or doing what y'all doing on these skits man i'm punching your throat straight up I'm, i will kill you what's good with that listen these instagram jokes they gotta stop right we we sincerely need to have a meeting with instagram and their comedians and just yo listen son i need y'all to start writing scripts like and it has to be funny it's not gonna be some this can't be cheesy y'all make cringy cheesy videos it's annoying now I'm, I'm tired of watching i ain't gonna throw no names here but you know who you are the fourth key rule for 2019 and this goes out to females because females is the ones that be doing this drink listen stop with these one word responses stop with these k's stop going stop with the okay's stop with the hi like the the little h and the little i listen here son I, i'm tired of this son you don't understand how stressful it is a female writes one word responses to you i i pretty i'm pretty sure i mentioned this in a video way back when with the Yo, why are you not messaging me, man? I've already explained that females just don't respond, but what's worse than not responding or leaving me on red is when you hit me with a K or hit me with an OK or hit me with one word after I just like, you know what's funny? It's the same female that be like, guys are just boring and talk to like da da da. What? Like I'm asking you a question here. I mean, in order for me to continue a conversation, I need the response back. If I'm getting one word responses, what am I supposed to say here? You can't, you can't expect guys to be fluent in, in text messages messaging conversations when you not giving them the same energy as they're giving you it don't work that way think about you know them all right let's 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 make an example here i bet you know when you was a kid and you had that little it was like this little straight little line and whoever's on this side it'll go down and then the other person would push back and it'll go on one listen if the guy putting all the energy here but you're not pushing down on your side the, the thing gonna stay like this the whole time you you gotta put the con you gotta put the energy in here right so that it, it's fluent so that it it bounces you know the, the way it's supposed to but if you hit with one word responses we can't do anything with that all right so let's let's cut those out let's hit two word responses be like okay babe it's okay let's let's stop saying okay say it's okay you know what i'm saying throw a little emoji or something like y'all be y'all be whack with him son and the last and final step that uh you know is a key rule for 2019 man just help a brother out 2018 and below you know there was some good and there was some bad in it but you know 2019 we really gotta step up for one another son it's, it's about that time that we if you see your brother down and you see him struggling yo find a way to help him out yo if you, if you gotta buy him some food buy him some food i'm not necessarily talking about the homeless people here they're people too you know what i'm saying once in a while if you got a little pocket change in your pocket yo just stop and give him like quarters if you if you got a means that you care about and you see him struggling a little bit, yo, help him out. And and don't be that person that, yo, if you give, you know, you're expecting to receive back. Don't even expect to receive back. Just give out the kindness of your heart and just help him out. Help the community out. I'm telling you, the world will move a lot smoother if we could just help one another out and just be kind and gentle to each other. With that being said, guys, that's all that's all the rules. That's everything. If we can follow these completely and correctly, I promise you, 2019 will be a great year. But all in all, all jokes aside, I hope you guys have a great 2019. I know I will. Videos is going to be coming out a lot smoother. We got a whole brand new. We got panels for days. I got so many different things I want to do with this channel. With everything that was done and said make sure to follow me on instagram and twitter underscore we want more snapchat we want dot more i'm out of here have a good 2019 um 2020 is my year for sure for sure